This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about this syntax. A is equal to B is equal to C, which is equal to that value. In theory, what that allows us to do is to assign one value to multiple variables at the same time. So we can do A, B and print C, and they should all contain that value. But what I want to talk about today is something that might not come off as too obvious to many beginners. And that is the fact that A is equal to B is equal to C, which is equal to the value is not the same as this ugly syntax here, which I did not format. It's not the same as this. These are two completely different approaches. And I'll explain in just a moment why you should not mix these up. This can actually ruin your code if used wrongly. So first of all, let's explore what this actually is, because so far I told you that it's not equal to this over here. But right now we are assigning value to C. This is the first operation that's going on here. Then the value of C is being assigned to B and B is being assigned to A. So this is working backwards, which means that theoretically this is what's going on under the hood. We're typing in C is equal to value and that B is equal to C and that A is equal to B. That's what we're doing here. We're just continuously grabbing the value from a previous variable. And if we were to do something such as C plus equals exclamation mark, and then we were to print all three of these variables, we should get that the first two are the same as always, while C has the new value with an exclamation mark. We were actually able to change it. So you might be asking now, why does this matter? We get the same result. All of these are independent of each other. As you could see, we were able to modify C and that did not affect any of the other variables. Well, for immutable types such as integers, strings, or tuples, it doesn't matter. You can do this quite comfortably and not worry about a single thing. I mean, even if we were to remove this, you'll see that it's going to remain the same because both of these perform the exact same operation. But now watch what happens when we change value to a reference type. So I'm going to remove all of this and change this to one, two, and three. And with this being kept in mind, we're going to append, let's say the number of one, one, one to A and two, two, two to C. Watch what happens when I run this now. What we end up with are three variables that all contain the exact same data or data. And this is because this time we assigned a reference type to C and a reference type was then referred to B, which was referred to A. So A, B and C are all pointing to the exact same reference type. And to break this down even further, pretend we have a variable called D and here we have another list, one, two and three. When you need to make a copy of a reference type, it's not always straightforward. A lot of beginners think they can just type in E equals D and that E will be completely independent of D. When the truth is that once we append something to D, such as D append, let's say four, printing E will also take those changes because E is just a reference to D or something even smarter than doing all of this would be to print the ID of D and E. Both of these are going to return the exact same point of memory because we are referring to the same list. It is not a copy. It's not a shallow copy nor a deep copy. It's just a reference. So that's the danger of using this syntax with reference types such as lists. You need to be careful when you are using them. Otherwise, if we were to type in A equals one, two, three, and we were to duplicate this twice, change this to B, change this to C and then modify both A and B. This time we would actually get different results because on each line we created a fresh list that does not have anything to do with the other list. All of these are independent and have their very own place in memory. So yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. I just thought it would be something important to bring up because I read that some of you were very lucky with this feature and just happened to not use any reference types with it. But it's good to know what would happen if you did use a reference type here. But yeah, with all that being said, 
As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.